Welcome to this overview presentation of generative components. This overview of generative components is warranted due to the many innovations introduced with the V8i Select Series 6 commercial release. Generative components, or GC for short, is a computational design tool that is intended as a workbench for design and development of design tools. If infrastructure design is considered a craft, then GC follows the tradition of craftspeople crafting their own tools for their specific crafts to meet their very individual requirements, perhaps due to ergonomic considerations and more frequently because of individual advancement of their craft that cannot be reflected by the standard tools generally available for their craft. In computational design, crafting one's own tools is then the creation of tools that generate the desired designs which otherwise would not be possible to generate with conventional computer-aided design tools. We have worked on descriptions, characterizations, taglines, etc., highlighting generative components' unique characteristics and capabilities. You will find additional information on Bentley.com. Look under the MicroStation brand or Modeling and Visualization product line. GC has a unique interface that is part legacy, driven by its own unique requirements and little cognizant of Bentley's existing tools and conventions, and part hard work of overcoming that legacy in order to fit more organically within the Bentley application world while preserving what is needed to access GC's unique capabilities. GC generates geometry through parametrically driven dependencies. Therefore, it rarely uses one of modeling tools like MicroStation and many other Bentley applications have them. Rather, it uses a script-based DNA to generate its entities called nodes and the dependencies between them. The main interface for and representation of this DNA is the Transactions Dialog and GC Script Editor. With some beta versions prior to our GC v 8 ISS 6 release, we have introduced a graphical programming interface to generate and edit the GC model. It includes the node types palette and a diagrammatic representation of the place GC nodes and their dependencies as a node edge graph. This all generates a GC model which may produce geometry in a DGN model. You can view DGN models in view windows provided by Power Platform, MicroStation or EcoSim Building Designer. Depending on the degrees of freedom of GC entities, they can also be modified via the geometric representations in these geometric views, similar to the interaction in one of modeling. In the geometric view, you also may place interactively GC points, planes and coordinate systems. The takeaway is that there are multiple related representations of a single content, which is the GC model. You can interact with the GC model through those representations, create new GC entities, or modify the created GC model. Through its multifaceted nature as a power product and an extension, with various add-ins available at times, GC can be perceived as a core application which provides the base mechanisms to maintain a parametric model with long-chain dependency propagation. This includes the script engine and integrated GC script development environment as well as the graph engine which maintains the dependency graph and optimizes the change propagation. The geometry is generated using MicroStation and EcoSim Building Designer technology as applicable. On these foundations, there rest four ways of interacting with the GC model. Graphic interactive geometry modeling through the view windows into the DGN models. Diagramming or graphic scripting through a node types palette and the GC graph. Scripting or shallow end coding through expressions and other coding activities in input properties, expression nodes and function definitions also through the built-in GC script editor. And programming or deep end coding through a bona fide development environment like C Sharp Visual Studio Express using the sample C Sharp project included in every GC installation. 
With Select Series 6, we added deep ABD GC integration with GC node types wrapping BIM elements like walls, slabs, windows and doors, and structural members. This is a different representation of how GC fits into Bentley applications and how it may fit into your tool sets to meet your needs, or how we can help you succeed. Here is a view how GC fits onto the trajectory of information modeling and information mobility. For latter, GC relies on its integration with the platforms on which it sits. Full leverage of all combined advances is available to you through the GC extension on Ecosim Building Designer. Many tools have their specific uses, like a screwdriver is used to screw screws into a variety of materials. Often, tool use can be extended beyond their well-defined scope. For example, the screwdriver comes in handy when attempting to open a can of paint. So, what are the main use cases for generative components? When should you venture into the additional effort of parametric modeling and use GC? Here is a list of situations when the additional effort of creating a parametric model with generative components may very well pay off. I had mentioned the two general main cases already. First, GC is a workbench for the crafting of design tools. Whenever there is a need to invent one's own design tool because the standard of the shelf CAD tools don't deliver what is required for this project or for one's workflow, then GC is the tool to use. Second, GC is a parametric dependency propagation engine. Whenever one anticipates frequent changes to the design, including its context, its site, or the search for a design response to the client's requirements, then GC is the tool to use. An additional way to look at GC use cases is this quadrant graph. On the horizontal axis are static design results to the left and dynamic design results to the right. At the bottom are single design results and at the top are multiple instances generated by one parametric design solution, creating populations or fields of design results. The example on the bottom left is a parametrically driven skirt around the Pinnacle Building by KPF London. The skirt deflects downdrafts and many iterations of this skirt were tested computationally with fluid dynamic simulations and a few in wind tunnel tests until a solution for the skirt was found that passed the requirements set by City of London regulations for pedestrian comfort around high-rise buildings. If KPF London had attempted to generate these variations of the skirt in manual one-off modeling, it would have been a tedious task at least and most likely would have cost more time and frustration than the parametric approach. At the top left is Dick Nielsen's Metro Mechanics project, a parametric subway station design that generates subway station instances based on a collection of input parameters, including where the exits on the surface may be located, where the rail tracks are situated underground, and the expected peak passenger volumes for each station. One parametric design solution fulfills the project brief and is able to generate the dozen plus subway stations for Copenhagen's new subway ring line. Stig Nielsen's project was his master thesis project, therefore this approach was not used in the actual design of Copenhagen's ring line. However, it is a marvelous example that parametric design can create volumes that are inhabitable by people for day-to-day -day mundane purposes, like transportation from A to B. While parametric dependency propagation is most frequently used to generate design variants, this variation can also be applied as a behavior over time, as shown to the right of this graph. The sunshade changes its aperture depending on some environmental parameters, and this behavior can be simulated with a parametric model too. In the solar array at the top right, the sun location determines the horizontal and vertical angles for each mirror so that the mirror reflects sunlight optimally to the power cell in the solar array's focal point. The remaining use cases are when there is a need to defer decisions to a later point in the design process and parametric techniques permit to continue design around and beyond the items of deferred decisions. 
when resolution of potentially otherwise complex geometry can be described and processed in an algorithmic fashion. And of course, when any combination of the previously mentioned conditions occurs. The goal is, of course, to have you as happy, successful users. Here are some samplings from what users like you created with the help of generative components. Consider submitting your successes for our annual Bentley Awards. Roger Sturkhaber and Partners, the Leaden Hall Building. Robin Partington Partners, Park House. Simpson Hall and Partners, 1 Blackfriars Road. John Portman and Associates, Yinchuan Greenland Center. Robin Partington Partners, 1 Merchant Square. Online information about generative components is available through Bentley.com, Products, Modeling and Visualization Software. Scroll down to locate generative components and follow the Learn More link. If you don't have a relationship with us yet, please use the contact sales link to enter into a dialogue with us about how we may help you. Otherwise, please feel free to contact us through our Generative Components Bentley community with any questions you may have about GC. Access Bentley communities from your personal portal. The Generative Components pages are located within the Modeling and Visualization community. Thank you.